Christians, we write to you that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. Did you catch that? These things we write to you because we want you to have joy. We want you to have joy. We want you to live in joy. We want you to operate in joy. Joy is a critical thing in the life of a believer. Critical thing in the life of a believer. If you don't understand and if you don't learn how to operate in joy, you'll never endure the hardships of life. You won't endure the struggles of life. How many know there's struggles in life? How many know there's storms in life? The key to overcoming your storm in life is to learn to operate from the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord empowers us to persevere. The joy of the Lord empowers us to worship the Lord when all hell is breaking loose in our life. The joy of the Lord puts a smile on our face when the devil comes knocking on our door. The joy of the Lord gives us strength to get up and go to church when everyone else may not want to go to church. The joy of the Lord is critical. It's critical in the life of the believer. And I want to I want to remind us of some of the basics of the joy of the Lord, okay? Um, first of all, what is joy? What is joy? I'm going to give you a working definition. Joy is the inward delight in God, knowing He's working everything out for His good, and the decision to praise Him through it all. I love that definition of joy. Joy is the inward delight. It is the inward delight in, in God, knowing that He's working everything out for His good. Man, that is the advantage that we have as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the advantage to have the position that no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what's going on in our life, we still believe that God is working everything out for His good. Anybody believe that today? That's the advantage. Don't ever, don't ever surrender your advantage. Don't surrender your advantage. Joy is also the decision to praise Him through it all. When you reach the level where you praise God, even though all hell is breaking loose in your life, you just reach a significant place in the kingdom of God. When, when you reach the level to, to worship lo the Lord, even though your prayers are not getting answered, you just reach a significant place in the kingdom of God. When you reach a level to thank God, when you reach a level to give a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the Lord, you know what a sacrifice of thanksgiving is? A sacrifice of thanksgiving is when you thank God no matter what. When you thank God, no matter what, your body may be in pain, but you thank the Lord anyways. You may not be feeling good, but you thank the Lord anyways. There may not be money in your bank account, but you thank the Lord anyways. You just reach a significant place in the kingdom of God. Now, when, you, when we talk about joy, um, you, we need to understand the difference between joy and happiness. The, the difference between joy and happiness. Because there's a difference. There's a big difference. The world has happiness to hold on to, but believers have joy to empower them with. The world has happiness. There's, there's a difference between happiness and joy. Happiness is based on your outward circumstances. Happiness is based on what's going on around you. Joy is based on who's inside of you, namely Jesus Christ. Happiness is temporary. That's why you got to... Don't, don't ever hang your hat on happiness. I'm going to preach to y'all like there's a room full of people. Don't ever hang your hat on happiness. You're in a dangerous place as believers if you hang your hat on happiness because happiness is based on what's going on around you. And if the, ev if the enemy ever sniffs out that you live your life based on your sight and what's going on around you, it don't take much to control you. Did, some, did you get that? That was, that was a sermon by itself. I'm going to say it again. If the devil ever sniffs out that you're living your life based on what's around you. That you're living your life based on what's happening around you. Then it don't take much to control you. The joy of the Lord is based on who's inside of us. Which is the Lord Jesus Christ. 